Uh, two overhead movements we're going to go over right now are push jerk and our split jerk. Okay, they start out very similar, but they're going to end very different. Okay, so in our push jerk, we're going to have the bar here in our front rack position, bending those knees, kind of that power position as we drive up. We're going to re-bend the knees to catch and then stand up tall. Okay, and that's what Alex is going to help us demonstrate right now. He's going to clean the bar up into his front rack position. Okay, making sure those elbows are up. He's going to get that bend to those knees, drive the bar up, re-bend his knees in kind of a quarter squat, and then go back up. This allows us to get underneath the bar so we don't have to take it up quite as high. So he's going to do one more push jerk for us, okay? Good, we're going to set the bar down. Now we're going to be working on a split jerk, okay? With a split jerk, instead of catching with our legs kind of a square position, our legs are going to be staggered. One leg's going to be forward, the other's back, okay? We want to make sure those knees are bent, okay? If your back leg is straight, it's going to cause you to fall forward a little bit. So keep those knees bent, chest is up high. So again, we're starting from our front rack position. And our starting position is going to be the same. Elbows are high, slight bend of those knees, drive it up overhead. And those knees are bent. And as we finish, obviously going to take a half step back and then a half step forward to center. Woo! 